Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Expanse. My name is Ryan, welcome back to the studio. Today, the season finale of season five. We're coming to the end of it. There's not many episodes left in the show. Um, we have this finale and then we have, a, I think, six episodes for season six. So it looks like Marco is going to be the last like the fin the final boss and of course it's going to be the culmination of everything right the proto molecule the weapons of mass destruction if you will and uh fanatical um factions i mean this has been consistently problem like all of those things have been consistent problems throughout the entirety of the show we still don't really know the the martian angle completely yet on this um but I have a feeling that we're either going we're going to get some answers, some fight in this finale for sure, and then it's going to be like a little leapfrog to the next season, which I think we'll maybe dive into that more. We'll see. Uh, but it might not. Maybe maybe that's just maybe that's just as far as it goes. But um, yeah, last episode, Naomi stuck on the uh, still stuck stuck on the Chetsamaka. Um, the Razorback, Alex and, and Bobby are approaching quickly. She's trying to figure out a way to communicate with them. She had a, a, a thinking realization moment at, toward the end there. Couldn't really discern what she was thinking about. Went back out into that airlock portion. She was banging around. Don't quite know what that's for. Maybe she's going to release air or something to move them. I don't know. I don't know what she would do there. Or maybe she's trying to find an air pocket of some kind to maybe get into a different room. I don't know. Um... But yeah, there was that. Got to see more of Marco's just manipulative ways on um, Philip and just the brainwashing that he's done to him. It's like he he like he like vents his anger toward Naomi onto him, onto Philip. But then at the same time, he like knows that he is a very useful piece, like somebody that's that loyal. Um, because like we saw sin was was swayed and he was like the father figure in a way or like an uncle you know like fa he was family to like most opa people they're all you know treat each other like family but you know what i mean like having that familial bond is very important and strong and beneficial and advantageous and it's just it's really good for him to have that with philip being able to leverage that so um yeah just interested to see what that what, what this finale brings uh the final fight so that's my dog barking. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but without further ado, um, if you guys are ready... Oh, sorry. Almost forgot. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the finale. You know, hit that like button. This is the big major... This is the last episode of the season. And one of the last seven episodes or something of the show. So let's, let's pound the like button. Let's share this around if you haven't. And uh, yeah, if you guys are ready for the season finale, I'm ready. My dog's ready. <laughs> I'll see you in the video. Sorry, but we've got bigger fucking fish to fry. Problem? Yeah. Two Martian warships and three armed belter ships. By the time we're in effective range, we'll have been overwhelmed with missiles we can't shoot down. Oh, but now they're being cut off. Wait. Wait a minute. Is is that is that right there the faction that Drummer is supposed to meet up with to attack the Rossi, right? Or is she in that, maybe? Wait a minute. You don't have to be here to watch it happen. I don't look away from what I do. Camina. Captain now. Camina later. Okay. I wonder what Drummer's gonna do. Interesting dynamic between her, the crew on her ship, her relationship with them. Make ourselves the only things these assholes can see. Empty our fucking magazines right in their faces. They want her to fight. We'll give them one. Holden is literally talking about a suicide mission. Do it for Fred. Holy shit, dude. The Chetsamoka was just a trap to draw the Ross not day out. Well, we're in it now. No getting out. Christ. Get Naomi. Dude, why do I feel like that like Holden's actually gonna die here? We're close enough to the end that this feels like that could be for real. We'll get her back, Jim. Go give him hell. <sighs> Saving Naomi, but then if Holden dies, like Dude, yeah, because we're coming up, we're coming up towards the end of the series, and Holden could actually sacrifice himself to get Naomi some time. Naomi knows about the plans that Marco has, and has heard the rumblings being on his ship. Knows where he is. 
I just don't I don't know how she's gonna get out of there. I don't know if James Hol if Holden's gonna gonna die or not. I don't like where this is going, man. She's been in there so many times. Holy shit, dude. And they're so close. Oh god. Wait, what was that? Did she just blast the air to put it in a spin? Why? Wait, what does that do though? Wait, I don't I don't understand. Divert the course, get it moving away. It was already moving. I don't quite understand. Oh, Holden, I really hope that this doesn't go the way that I think it's going to go. All right. It's go time. All right, drummer, let's see what you got. The goal is to fly through them buy as much time as we can for the Razorback. We're not trying to win. I'd rather win. Oh, man. Don't even twitch. Just oh, shit. This won't help your, your friends, but you know what it will do. Another word and you die. Yo. Oh, my God. Drive is out. She just blew up her own ship. They're firing at each other. Good. Let's help. They're ready to come about. Holy shit. This is drama. Oh my god. Oh my god. They all started working together. Oh my god, they killed her. She just eliminated one of the attackers. And maybe another. It's gonna be two on one instead of four. Oh my god, she's fi she fired at another ship to hold off the attack. Oh my god, dude, this is insane. Drummer actually did. I didn't think she would do it like that, but wow. Come on, come on. What are you doing? What we should have done before. What? Is, what is he doing? He just he just went against them. Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought that was I thought that was the Rosinante. Oh my god. Open. This is drama. Oh my god, dude. She just saved his life. Oh my god. But now they're like they're all against Marco, obviously, but they actually got rid of the other ships. Wow. Naomi, if you can hear me hang tight. Come hell or high water, we're gonna find a way to dock and get you off that ship. Great idea. <laughs> I still think an option was going to be she's going to get in her suit and she's been training to hold her hold her breath and be able to adjust to not, no air. And she's going to just do like what she did before, calculate, leap out, try and make it past the discharge point, And then they can get her in space somehow. I, it's an absolute insane idea, but I, maybe that's what she's going to end up having to do. I don't know how far the detonation circle is, but... Wait, she could also just detonate it, sacrifice herself, before they get there. Oh my god. She's actually gonna do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even... And the way this is shot, too, just like super up close with the lighting and everything is ama beautifully shot, amazingly shot. Actress who plays Naomi is like, it's insane that more people don't know about her, dude. Her her acting this season has been absolutely phenomenal. Look at that shot. Oh my god. Oh come on. Tell me that. Tell me they saw her. Alex, hold on a second. I almost got a dock and approach figured out. I need to make this happen. Something fell off the chat. Oh my god, they actually saw her. Oh my god, they saw her. Oh my god. Those are belt or emergency hand signals. My radio is out. No air. Low air. Oh my god, they got the message. They actually got it. They actually got it. Now they have to do it before she runs out of air and suffocates. Come on, Naomi. Come on. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Come on. Come on, Alex. Come on. Come on, Alex. Come on. Come on. Naomi, stop fighting, Naomi. Oh my god, they got her. Oh my god. Oh my god, they got her. <laughs> 
Oh my god, they got her. Oh my god. Oh my god, they got her. Oh my god, they got her. Look at this. Look at this acting, man. Just right up on her face, letting her act it out. I've got her. Moving to rendezvous. Copy that. On my way. Oh. That was one hell of a ride. You said it, Alex. What is the rust? Alex, do you copy? Do you read me? Alex? He stroked. No, 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 no. Dude, we have 20, we have 30 more minutes and Alex is basically dead? Are you shitting me? There's no, there's no way they just did that, dude. There's no way that he's dead, right? There's, there's, there is no shot that he's dead. There's no way they're killing off that character. There's no way. I thought it was Holden. I thought it was Naomi. I thought it was Drummer. I thought... I knew somebody was probably going to die this episode. I, I really hope that's not Alex. I really, really hope it's not Alex. Oh my god, they're back together. Alex's ex. She wants to handle the funeral arrangements. Oh my god, he's actually dead. We'll receive full military honors. was a stroke. It's a risk we all take with every hard burn. He died saving me from my mistakes. I'm glad, glad to see them back together, man. There's a place for you if you want it. No thanks. It was fun working with you again. I got my own thing now. If you change your mind... I won't. Amos finally had to go back to see that the life he now has is better than the one he left. Amos finally back with the boys. I know how close you two were. I'm so sorry. Why? It's not your fault. Losing a friend. Making a choice to hold your ground to save your family. As far as last stands go, that's the one I'd pick. He picked it too. Oh man. I don't know when Amos when Amos talked about Alex. I don't know why that one got me. Ooh. I'm gonna need a favor. You threatened to kill me once. Did you mean that? I did. Right? It's no hard feeling. Of course. We're good! She's gonna ride with us for a little while. Thank you for being cool about this. Oh. <laughs> uh, um Amos, you didn't really you didn't really tell him who it, like what that favor was though. It's like the first, it's like the first good time we've seen since that, that meeting in in season two, when everybody was having dinner for Alex's lasagna. I want you all to take a good look around. This is what Marco Inaros hates. This is what he is afraid of. This is how we win. Yep, that's awesome. You must always have a knife in the darkness. Oh, here we go. Now the contrast. They're approaching the ring. Dude, there are like three distinct times in this episode where I felt like it's like the ending of the episode. When Alex has the stroke just now, and now the th there's gonna be the real ending. You need to see this. We didn't destroy all of the Zemea's torpedoes. It could have been a misfire. But if it wasn't, is it possible the protomolecule sample was on that torpedo? Yes. Wait, so what are they firing it at though? What's oh no. Going on? Oh, shit. Our ships were struck by a massive micrometeor cloud as the attack began. All three sustained significant damage. The rocks may have been stealth coated. There's just no way to stop all of them. What are they aiming for? Firing from inside the ring? Multiple new contacts incoming. Based on the drive signatures, it looks like several of them were previously reported lost by the MCRN in engagements with Inaro's forces. Oh, and here we go. I talked about it in the beginning about the Martian uh, component of all of this, and now we're seeing it. They've taken control of the ring, I guess. What is the plan? Why? An entire fleet of Martians gone rogue, in league with Inaros. 
That's impossible. You may have bought them. How? Oh. The proto molecule. Maybe they know something we don't. Whoa. Well, wait, don't they have the scientist guy? Cortazar? Maybe they do. But what is that something? Maybe they're able to turn on the those old relics that we saw on Illus? You have your system. We have ours. They split up the systems. We are already seeing beautiful results. By the time you arrive, I hope to be ready for third phase construction. Whoa. Are they terraforming? I am confident that the structures are stable and, I believe, still intact. Whoa. I have no doubt that I will be able to decipher the control patterns. Able to control a planet, maybe. <sighs> Jeez. What in the world? Oh, it's those things. Wait, what in the world was that? That was very weird. <sighs> How are you going to have three cliffhangers in one episode, dude? And it looks like the episode's not even done. Oh, this is that structure that Cortazar was talking about, him being able to or be able to access the control panel or the controls for it. Whoa. Wow. What a season finale, dude. And we lost Alex. Rest in peace, Alex Kamal. He will be missed. And now we finally get to see the marching component. I know we talked about it. They split up systems so that they can have their own systems and be able to get it, like, you know, so that they can start their own things, their own civilizations. But then when they went through that ring, we saw those, like, black masses or whatever just, like, flying through. And this was not blue when he went through the ring. Now this was red. I wonder what that means. And Cortazar being able to research and maybe access m structures that are interconnected in the planet itself, like Illus. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, what does that mean? You can control the planet, maybe? Control its atmosphere? Maybe move it? Who knows? Or maybe a giant weapon? Who knows? I don't. I don't know what that does for you. If you've already, if you already have like the world that you can build yourself. But then Naomi being able to escape kind of did exactly what I kind of predicted as a, as a theory, jump, leaping from it so that she can be clear of the detonation charge and then they can bring her in. So that makes, that made sense. Oh man, dude, freaking Alex, man. It was a good, it was a good season finale, but I don't know. I feel it felt not as, uh, it felt like those, they tried to do a lot as like to resolve the Naomi storyline and then they like wanted to add in some extra stuff to try and like set up for the next season and I don't know that the MCRN thing almost felt a little shoehorned at the at the end you know like I feel like they could have shown us some of that MCRN stuff like while like in conjunction the last two or three episodes when like the Naomi stuff was happening where there was a bunch of footage of like her being inside of the ship and all that other stuff like maybe they could have thrown in some bits and pieces of like what they were doing so we got a little bit so it didn't feel so like here's like the episode and then like here's 25 minutes of like oh mcrn pro plot line for the next season you know what i mean very very weird but other than that i mean great episode um exciting crazy fights the drummer battle in space super amazing loved that emotions running high with the season's finale as they should but um yeah interesting having uh Clarissa back on the Rosinante. Interesting dynamic. And then they kind of just immediately, like, there was no, like, them traveling. They just, like, went right, by, right to Luna. Very weird. Or I guess she's getting on to the Rosinante and they haven't left yet. But, yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting to end the end of the, uh, the season like that. Um, Marco working with an MCRN, like, fleet to colonize their own systems. Um, now, I feel like maybe the protomolecule, like, alien component is going to come back in. I mean, I mean, it is back in, but interesting. Been, we've been without it for, like, a whole, all of season five. And, uh... Ooh. Man. I don't know. I don't really have much else, any thoughts on it, really. I'd have to sit on it more, but my initial thoughts 
uh, good, some some shoehorn stuff, or it, stuff felt like it was not, maybe a little bit rushed, like it wasn't not set up, but it's just, I don't know, it was a weird pacing for this episode, maybe because it was just, we've had very slow moving, um, pretty linear fo uh, focused the last couple episodes, so this one felt a little bit more all over the place. But overall, uh, it didn't feel wasteful, so to speak. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I got for you guys today for this episode. Thank you guys for sticking around this long, if you have. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new episode goes up. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.